Greetings. This is Artie from Artifact Electronics. In this episode, we'll be having a look at a Sony PlayStation 1, which I recently acquired. I just got the uh, PlayStation as you see it here. No accessories, no cables, no uh, controllers, uh, nothing else. It wasn't until I brought it home that I realized that the uh, door release button here was stuck in the downward position. Uh, yes, it didn't come with the tape. That that was, I added that. But uh, so this button being stuck in the closed or down position means that if I remove this piece of tape here, which doesn't want to come off, the door swings open. So uh, the uh, mechanism here works. Everything works. But this button just won't come up. Even when I play with the latch, which is right here, the button won't come up, so it has nothing to latch on to. So under normal circumstances I would of course test it, see if it reads uh, CDs or whatever, but uh, in this case I don't think that's a true test because I'd be holding the door closed with my finger and and anyway, this needs to be fixed. I'm curious. I've seen others. This seems to be a common problem on PlayStation 1s. So why not have a look inside and uh, see if we can get this button to move freely again. And then we'll test it and see if the uh, CD laser actually works on it. As I was turning this upside down, uh, I could hear there's something loose in there floating around. And... Uh, Let's just say there's a pretty good chance of uh, that being part of that mechanism, but uh, let's go ahead and open it and uh, see what we find. So there are six screws. And let's not forget our repository for screws here. So with the six screws removed, we turn it around and the top should lift off. But let me first say, if you didn't already know this, uh, digital video is really good at making everything look photogenic. I mean, looking at the monitor, this thing's pretty dirty and has scratches on it and stuff, and you can't really see that. And that's why pretty much everything you see on eBay always looks good. But, uh, so let's go on here. Well, look at that. It had latched when it was upside down. But of course now it won't latch again. So let's see if we can separate the halves and the have nuts. And here we go. Yeah, this is where the button is, and you can see it is. Ah, if I push it back by hand, then it works, but when you push it down, it gets stuck. So, well, at least the uh, spring and the mechanism for uh, raising the door works. And let's have a look, see what was uh, floating around in here. So let's hold this down. Yes, there's something in there, but it won't come out. Let's remove the laser and see if we can give it a better shake. Because it doesn't look like there's anything missing from here right now. I 
don't know if you can hear that, but yes, there is there's something loose in there which is going to drive me crazy. So before even looking at the door mechanism, I'm going to take uh, the shield off and uh, see if I can get the uh, rattling object out of there. Okay then, to take the shield off, we have to remove, uh, first of all, this connector cable from both the power supply as well as the board itself because it's kind of clamped to the uh, shield and it's actually easier to just remove this from both ends than to try to disentangle that. Then we have a few screws here. These are copper colored so there won't be any confusion when putting it back together again. There's a second one. third one and one partially hidden under that connector. There it is. So now this should come off. Oh, of course, this guy has to be removed too. And <laughs> it's still rattling. Is it maybe inside these the controller connectors? Something in there. Yes. <laughs> There's There's something in here. <laughs> and that's not all. There is more. So here's a piece of plastic that came out of there. several pieces of plastic. I mean, I can't really tell where those pieces came from. Because the connectors inside look okay. So somebody plucked something in there and then yanked it out. But I don't know. I guess uh, when we do the operational test, we'll find out. So, uh, let me put the uh, stuff back that I just removed, and then we'll finally have a look at the door mechanism. So, what was our haul from inside the PlayStation 1? Well, we had two small dust bunnies, and then these three identical looking tabs, they are broken off because if you look very closely you can see that these lower edges are uneven. But I can't figure out what they came from. Now, here's what a memory card looks like. But there's really nothing in here uh, that looks like those tabs. And if we try out the memory card, they slide in and out just fine and dandy. So, so I have no idea what somebody tried to stick in there, but uh, the rattle is gone. So, let's continue. 
So here's the offending mechanism and uh, you can see when I push the button this thing just gets stuck here but when I push on top of it it goes back with little resistance so uh, let's take this guy out and see what can be done It's not particularly dirty inside, but if you look at the other end, it's supposed to kind of slide up and down on this wedge here. So uh, I don't know, let's give this a good cleaning because the button itself moves very freely. Now, I've seen some solutions here that other people have proposed. One of them was uh, to add some grease to this so it makes it flow easier. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that because there are no signs of grease in this one, which means it didn't get any grease from the factory. And if something's designed, designed to operate without grease, uh, putting on grease isn't going to fix the problem, at least not long term. So I rule that out. Somebody else suggested trimming this with a razor knife and I mean don't change the design on it. This used to work so there's either dirt in here or uh, or something else. So let's clean it up a bit and see what comes next. So let's take out this button because it's this area that things seem to get hung up on. So I think what I'm going to do is take it out and uh, give it a light sanding. And the way you get it out is you push these two tabs towards each other and just push the button out. So looking at it closely, I believe that this part of the surface here is the problem. So what I'm going to do is use an abrasive stick and smooth that area out a little bit. If you don't have an abrasive stick, I mean who doesn't, but if you don't, fine gritted sandpaper will also work just fine. Just don't overdo it. Do it in an iterative fashion, i.e. sand it a little bit, put the thing back together again and see if you've solved the problem. So in this case, it snaps in. And what we'll do is we'll place this part back on while holding it in place. Looks like it's working. Final, I should probably put the screws back in before I give it a clean bill of health because the screws will determine the final position of this and if anything is misaligned it may make it hang up again. click. So it works again. So all it needed was a little bit of sanding on that descending part of the uh, button extension and uh, everything is fine. No grease and no uh, razor blades to, to 
trim it down. That did the trick. Great, so now let's see after all this effort we put in if this thing will actually read a CD. Okay, time for the big test. So, uh, first of all, does it power on? Not if I don't have a power cord. flash. I hear the drive. And it powers on. Excellent. But of course it doesn't do anything. Oh, uh, let's see. I put the uh, controller ports back in place correctly. no memory card so we'll just exit but it looks like the controllers are working oh, that opened so beautifully so let's take a copy of one of my favorite PS1 games it's called a roll away Disk is doing something. I think when it shows that logo, it means it recognized the disk as a legitimate PlayStation 1 disk. And it's still reading. And there you go. Looks like it's working. But uh, Let's try one more game. Oh, that door opens so nicely. And what we're going to try is Ten Pin Alley. Why would you want to play bowl? Why would you want to bowl on a video game? But hey. Something for everybody. And uh, if that logo comes up again, it usually means it passed. So uh, the drive's actually good in it too. And uh, I can hear it seeking and all that other good stuff. But yeah, it's working. So. Uh, here was my uh, version of the fix for the stuck button, which is uh, a common occurrence. Uh, how did I know to fix that? Uh, I don't have a lot of mechanical engineering talents, but uh, I fixed another one a while back that had the exact same problem. And uh, essentially, usually uh, in most cases there's dirt in there preventing the button from moving up and down smoothly but this one was pretty clean inside actually and uh, just that surface seems to get roughed up somehow uh, by sliding up and down against the sharp edge of the stopper and that seems to give it some slots or whatever so it gets hung up and giving it a light sanding just seems to fix the problem great so one last test, let's turn it off, open it up, 
works just great. So uh, thanks for watching. I mean, at least you learned how to take your PlayStation 1 apart. And uh, if you find one and it has the dreaded st uh, stuck button, the fix generally is very easy, so don't uh, let that dissuade you from uh, adding that to your collection and saving it from the uh, city dump. All right, we're done. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe even learned something. Make sure uh, to uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I have a special request. Let all your friends know uh, to subscribe at least. I mean, they don't have to watch anything, but at least let them subscribe. Because uh, YouTube's complaining to me that I don't have enough subscribers. I have like 700 something, but I need to reach a thousand. Or the future of my channel is uh, becomes unclear. So tell everybody, your dentist, your accountant, your tax collector, just tell them they should uh, subscribe. And uh, that way I can continue bringing you quality content. See you later.